you be hanging out at home for a few weeks? <laughs> Going to run a restaurant group from home? <laughs> wow. Wow. Has it been tough for you to do uh, that? Or? Different. You know, different. I, I feel unplugged. You know, I'm one of these guys that likes to pop in and out and see what's going on and then hit the curveballs that I see. And it's yeah, tough yeah. knowing there's got to be something I'm just not seeing. But oh, the team's God. great and they're doing their thing. So I'm proud of them. Yeah, we're excited. Y'all came to Silverleaf and I, we live right, right near Silverleaf. It was delicious. Oh, cool. Well, yeah. that's great. That's great. We've been doing really well. Oh, that is awesome. That's it. So what did you, yeah, I guess we'll start the interview. Um, so, Chef, what? What happened that um, when you heard about the outbreak and everyone was, you know, being told to stay home, um, how did you guys decide to go from neighborhood to neighborhood to serve food? Where did that idea come from? Sure. Well, the first thing, um, when we realized the restaurants were going to be closed down, we, of course, went into uh, the mode of doing pickups and curbside right away. Um, and it was actually Carl who said, you know, maybe we really need to get the food truck going because why, you know, why encourage people to come into the restaurant to pick up food even versus out in the open air where there's less likely to contact with the virus. And uh, so we, we figured outside has got to be one of the safest places to be in the fresh air. Um, 